Hey, business owners. The question today I have for you is how do you reverse a receipt or a payment that's you already receded in Applied Epic? So uh, let me know in the comments if you already, maybe you already know how to do that. Maybe you don't. Um, but I thought I'd answer that today because I received an email from one of my clients asking, hey, I want to um, reverse a receipt. So they don't want to adjust the receipt or necessarily avoid a payment, but they want to reverse a receipt. So that's what we're going to talk about today. All right. So the first thing I would recommend you do is that you would double check how the original receipt was entered or applied because you might need to unapply it. Um, so that would be my first step in, in before I reverse a receipt. Uh, the second thing I would do is go to the, your general ledger to the receipts. And I want you to find the receipt that you want to void. And I want you to note the reefer number or R number for short. So just note that and write that down. Then what I want you to do is you'll go ahead and you'll add a new receipt. So you're in the general ledger, you're gonna add a new receipt. And then in your description, I want you to reference that R number that I just told you to write down. And in your description, you could put something to the effect of, I need a um, reverse receipt, uh, wrong uh, uh, amount added, something to the effect. Whatever your description would be, I would add that in there. Um, but what you'll do is once you get to the um, amount, so you'll, you're gonna add your new receipt, you're gonna put your description, when you get to the part where you're um, like adding the, the new amount, so you'll, you'll put everything else the same, whoever the customer was or company or whatever you did. Um, and then you'll get to the amount part and next to the amount to the right of it, there's some radio buttons. So there's a debit and a credit and I want you to choose debit. It'll probably automatically already be pre-selected to credit. So you'll have to actually manually go to the radio button and hit debit, okay? So then you'll hit finish when you're done. Then that'll put you back on that general ledger screen where you can view what you just did. Um, a little tip here too, if for whatever reason, I know we're in a new accounting month, maybe you don't see what you just did and you're like, where, where is it? Where can I find it? That might be due to your filter. So you might still be set up on the September accounting month. Uh, so what you would do is you would go to the top right of your screen, clear filter, once you clear filter, you could put a new filter in so you could put accounting month for August. And then you can then you should be able to see what you just entered. And then um, I want you to note your new R number or refer number, write that down, then go back to the old receipt. Um, and then since we're in a new accounting month, it could be that that receipt was from the prior accounting month. So you might need to go back or just search for that old R number. Search for that old one. You're gonna edit the description just to add in the new refer number. You could maybe say that this was reversed new R number, something to that effect. Um, that way, when you're reflecting back on any of this later on, I don't know if you're like me, but um, oftentimes I just forget what I did you know, yesterday or even an hour ago. So I like to make sure that I'm putting tons of notes um, throughout just so that I, I understand what happened or like maybe you're getting audited and they're wondering what's going on with this particular entry, then you, at least your notes would be able to trigger your memory as to what occurred. All right, so I hope this was helpful for you. Like I said, someone had this question for me earlier and I thought it may be helpful for someone else out there wondering how can I reverse the receipt? Also, you'll notice too, when you get back to that um, general ledger screen after you add that receipt backwards, you'll see it as a minus. So that's another indication that that was reversed. All right. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions or comments. I hope this was helpful to you and I will see you next Wednesday. Oh, I forgot to say my name is Honey Bueno. I'm the CEO of Tracking Transactions, where we help insurance agencies with their bookkeeping and their profits using systems called Applied Epic and Profit First. I wish everyone well. See you next Wednesday noon CST. Take care.